Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan Keesing and welcome to another channel update vlog. The vlog in which I do roughly once a week <laughs> to give you guys an update. What's going on with the channel? Kind of some inside baseball, as Ryan would say. Uh, Ryan Northern Lion. In terms of what's going on behind the scenes with the channel, what you guys can expect in the next week. And how different experiments have gone either really well or really poorly on the channel. Uh, more on that later. Uh, but speaking of what the, what's the what been going on the channel, of course, Star Citizen. It comes out every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern. Been having a lot of fun with that. I've been doing some solo episodes. Been doing some episodes with our Star Citizen organization, WHP. Uh, you know, through our Discord. Discord's been so cool because you can always pop in there. And if I'm about to record, I may say, "Hey, so and so, you guys want to pop in and do some VoIP?" And it makes it fun because I've kind of come to the conclusion that. Star Citizen is fun by yourself, but it's way better when you play with other people. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to find, especially in its current state. Uh, but speaking of Star Citizen, I had a great trip to Citizen County. It was a very quick trip in and out to LA on the same day. I do have some footage from that. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with it. So it's kind of like lost footage. I may sprinkle it in somewhere this in this next week. I don't know. I, to be honest, so what I did is, is I just used my camera or my phone and I had a dual separate mic plugged into it and that actually turned out okay. But I don't know. We'll see. I, it's just depending on what I want to do to it, how I want to put it together. But it was awesome to go. It was really cool to meet a lot of people. There's a bunch of people that came up and said, hey, Dan, I watch your videos. And you know, that's awesome. You know, and, and I don't, I'm just trying to think of the best way to convey what I'm thinking here. Like when that happens, that's cool because, you know, I interact with you guys in the comments and I know you guys watch the videos, but when someone comes up, it's, I don't want to say it makes it real, but it's like, all right, that's cool. And one of the things you'll probably see change, I'd say probably in the next week, you'll see one of those posters go, go down in uh, the background. I'm going to put something up new there, um, but I don't want to talk too much about it just yet. I guess I didn't mean to talk about that. But anyways, outside of that, uh, RimWorld is going well. I think a lot better than I thought from a gameplay standpoint. There's a tragedy in RimWorld. You guys know uh, mishandled an operation, but I think we've turned the corner. And I think we're on the tail end of that series, meaning I think we're close to completing it, probably closer than I think. And then once that happens, then it'll open up a new slot for another series. Uh, but speaking of that, I've been trying some new couple things. We did a first look at Star Wars Battlefront Death Star DLC. I saw that on Massive G's uh, channel. I'm like, wow, I watched like a three or four minute video. And I'm like, that looks like a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun. And you know, everyone's like, oh, Star Wars Battlefront, it's EA, it's it's evil. But it was actually, you know, the spaceship portion of it I really, really liked. And I could see myself going back just to play a trench run or two. The, the unfortunate part is you can't just do trench runs. You have to kind of go through the whole scenario. But it is what it is. Um, outside of that, things to expect. We're going to do a video on a new WHP uh acquisition we got a new ship you guys can probably put two and two together about what that is i'm going to put together a special video for that upcoming here pretty soon and one of the things i did want to talk about i'd say last week or within the past seven days i put up a new video about how a online publication inferred that star citizen was indefinitely delayed which people inferred that that was canceled so i put up a video with my thoughts on that and that was the thumbnail I used, and I got a lot of heat in the comments. And when I try different things and experiment with different things, I'm always, I don't want to say sensitive, but always in tune with the feedback. And so immediately people say, Dan, that this thumbnail is just clickbait, it's clickbait, it's clickbait. Well, for me, though, you know, I always try to do things a little bit different. And so my intention with that video was to get people who may have a negative view or negative connotation to Star Citizen, because how people tend to operate is if you think one way, you tend to wa watch things or read things that reinforce what you think. So what I was thinking I could do is that if I could get someone who had a, maybe a negative impression based on whatever reason of Star Citizen, maybe they'd watch the video and by the end of it be like, wow, it's actually, I don't want to say they're misinformed, but maybe there is a different way. Maybe Star Citizen actually is going to do everything they're saying they're going to do. So that was my intention. But to me, it's always interesting to read the feedback because a lot of people got fired up. And I won't even say that it was, um, you know, because I always, you know, I read every comment on every video. But I was looking to see, you know, a video like that always brings in new people to the channel. A lot of those new people came and said, hey, oh, it's clickbait. But I was really in tune to seeing, okay, people that have been around for a while, did they understand why I did that video? 
So, you know, I think I really enjoy doing those opinion videos. My goal is to do at least one of those a week, you know, where there's a, a major issue going on in Star Citizen or something that I think you guys would like to hear about. I like doing those, so I'm going to continue to tinker with that. Um, but at the same time, you know, if, if things move in a certain way in terms of if I release a video and it's overwhelmingly negative, then I react to that. I don't just continue to do things um, and not be aware of what you guys like and what you don't like. So I just wanted to kind of explain my thoughts on that and what I was intending to do and how it came across. And I would say that from a standpoint, you know, when I create a video, it's always for a couple things. One, to either entertain or distract you. Two, to inform you or share with you guys an opinion that you guys may agree with or disagree with. And as long as I can continue to do that without alienating people or, you know, I, my goal is to when I release the video is to never tick anyone off. But it's funny to me how a thumbnail, you know, let me just pull that up one more time. How this can really like tick people off. And I may not understand why, but I do understand that it does for whatever reason to people. So for me, I just want them to be a little bit aware of that moving forward. Um, but I just felt like that's something we need to discuss. Let me know in the comments below, though, on this video. What did you guys think of this thumbnail? Did you feel misled by it? Did you feel it didn't fit the channel? I really just, especially people, someone that's going to watch this vlog, like someone like you that's watching this vlog, chances are that you've been around for a while and, you know, you, you get what we're trying to do here. But even with that, I would like your honest opinion on what you thought about that. Because I was a little surprised. I figured there'd be a little bit of backlash, but there's probably more than I thought. Anyways. We're going to go ahead and jump into the channel numbers for this past week. So this is another seven-day frame. This was from last, I think, from Monday to Monday. So, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, a little inside baseball here is, you know, hey, Dan, how do you grow a YouTube channel and, and this and that. And to me, what I've seen, it's always happened in waves, right? So, you know, you'll get a spike. So, like, say you start here. You get a spike or wave. I call it waves. You get a wave. It comes up. And when you ride this high wave and things are growing, growing really well. And then it, the wave crashes. Okay. And that's not always a bad thing. But to me, when the wave crashes, instead of crashing, we started, it crashes a little bit higher. So then you take the next wave and, and so on and so forth. And it's always like, I just enjoy the process. I enjoy interacting with you guys. I really enjoy creating the video. So to me, you know, people are like, well, Dan, oh, you should have this many subscribers. And you know, it's such a long term thing for me. You know, I don't, ever anticipating stopping doing this. So for me, I'm not, you know, in a huge rush. I, I love the process of just creating different videos, whether <laughs> with different thumbnails or, you know, I just really love it. And I want to thank you guys that have been around for a while or if this is your first video. I really do appreciate it. And as long as you guys enjoy watching them, I'm going to continue to create videos for the channel. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this week's channel numbers. It's hard to really compare these numbers to the previous week. So the previous weeks was like a you know, conglomeration. So we're just going to do one week of what's happened in the past week. So the past week, there's 79,000 views on the channel. There were 220, or excuse me, 2,200 likes. There were 467 comments and there were 231 new subscribers. All pretty P good, P good. But anyways, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested into what, what you guys have to say and how you initially felt about and your reactions to this thumbnail. Um, cause you know, based on what you guys are going to say, it's how we navigate moving forward. Um, but that being said, hope you guys have a great week. Uh, we'll be live streaming next Wednesday at 7 PM Eastern. And we still have to pick a Halloween game to play on a stream, uh, date before Halloween. So if you have any suggestions for that, drop that in the comments below and I will see you guys next week.